Your local weather authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Automotive. Selling your car? We buy cars, trucks, SUVs at all Dorset locations in the Wabash Valley. Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Did we get a record high? Those clouds hung in there, and no, didn't even get close. 65 was the record. We managed 62. Very tight temperature range with the cloud cut for 59 the low this morning. Now, as far as Graber Post Building's weather cam, cloud cover's hanging in there. It's going to be a while before we start to break these clouds down. We'll do so tomorrow and get some sunshine in here finally. We're tracking a cool down. Saturday showers dry otherwise, and mild temperatures for the most part. Cool, but still above normal. Here's what we're looking at at the airport. Cloudy, 60 degrees, humidity at 90%. South breeze at 10. Pressure steady, 29.66. Last night and today, we've picked up 76 hundredths of an inch of rain. That's year to date. Here's some uh, readings. This is since midnight. Six tenths at Bloomington, just over a quarter inch at Terre Haute and over a half inch at Effingham. Tight temperature range due to the cloud cover. The front's not through, so these were the lows. Temperature kept rising last night as we went toward midnight. High temps today into the 60s. The outlier Champagne, that's not an accurate reading. Right now, though, things are cooling. 62 at Champagne is accurate. 60 at the airport and also at Mattoon. Temperature trend trending down. So we're going to get back to cooler weather, but again, several degrees above normal. Wind speeds may gust overnight 20, 25 miles an hour from the southwest. And you can see the clearing back here. Uh, we expect we'll get that uh, cloud cover out of here oh, later tonight and overnight. So that's going to make for some sunshine tomorrow. Still not out of the woods as far as rainfall yet. Uh, the big low pressure system spinning up towards Canada, all our rain off to the east. One little blow up right there in central Illinois. You can see that on the local satellite and radar. Here's a live look. Or I'll show you a live look after that loop right there on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. We're talking about one tornado warning left over. We've had a couple confirmed over there. There's been four warnings. This one uh, around east of uh, Springfield. The track on that takes it into southern Champaign County. So we'll dodge that, but we'll keep tabs on the rainfall. The models picked up the precip, and we could get a rumble of thunder here later tonight. We'll see how that pans out. And I don't think anything severe, but... We'll keep a watch on the radar, and again, the Springfield tornado activity is moving northeast away from us, so that will not impact us tonight. Now, as far as rainfall, if we get anything cropping up tonight, could be heavy if you get a thunderstorm. Then we'll dry off and wait till Saturday with a few showers working their way in. Uh, looks like another dry period coming up at least uh, through maybe mid-January. And temps, 40s highs, 30s lows. The averages are in the 30s and 20s this time of year, so we're going to be okay on temperatures. It's going to be a very mild week coming up for tonight. Showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Could see a few storms crop up. And 42 for the low. Then for tomorrow, as you head back to work or school, we're talking partly cloudy skies. 45 for the high as we look ahead on the seven-day forecast. Temperatures cool, but again, above normal for this time of year. And the showers on Saturday don't look to be widespread, so some good news there, Grant.